Let's be honest. If you've ever wished your iPhone could do things faster, smarter and with less tapping around, like you're playing whack-a-mole, then you're gonna love this. In today's video, I'm diving into Raycast for iOS. So grab your phone, maybe a coffee, and let's make your iOS life way smoother. First of all, if you go to your App Store and download Raycast and sign in with your account if you have one or sign up to create an account, then you will be greeted with this home screen right here. Here, as you can see, you have four main buttons at the top and you can add more. I'll show you how later in the video. First of all, the AI, if you go to AI and tap on it, you can chat with the AI. You have dozens of AI models and you can chat with them the same way you chat with models like ChatGPT or Gemini. So if you click on the plus icon at the bottom, you can ask Raycast AI any question. So let's say, for example, what is macOS? Let's say you don't know what macOS is. Okay. And as you can see, it generated an answer for you. Now you can also attach images and files. If you go here to the attach button at the bottom left from the camera or photo library, and you can also chat with voice. However, you need to enable the microphone access. Now let's go ahead. Okay. Enable allow. And let's go back. Now let's go back once again to the home screen. Now this is for the AI section. Now the notes part works like a normal note taking app. You can capture, organize and access your thoughts. So basically you can create notes, you can organize them and you can access them at any time. Now let's click again or tap again on the plus icon here at the bottom and let's start typing. So I'll start a new note, start with the heading raycast and then return on the keyboard and this is the main body of the note don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel okay and you can here as you can see you have a row of tools to edit the format of the text so if i choose for example the text here and highlight it in order to be able to change the format. So here, let's select, let's select this text and you can make it bold, italic, underlined, and I can attach links, add quotes and other tools. So let's go back once again. And here is the notes section. Now the quick links, you can save and open quick links for instant access. So for example, if you have links for resources or websites or services that you open more often, you can add them here. So let's tap on the plus icon. Once again, you can add here a quick link and add the quick link name to be able to open it with one tap only. How cool is that? Now, lastly, you have the snippets. So the snippets is basically storing frequent information or text like emails and uh, contact information that you type in many often. For example, in like web forms to be able to access them quickly. So let's tap on the plus icon. For example, here, the snippets name, let's say my email. Okay. The email is example at google.com. Okay. And to create it, just tap on create and your first snippet is added. Now here are four quick tools. Now, if you click on customize, you may have noticed here, there is a big button in the middle named customize. If you tap on it here, you can see you have the AI snippets and quick links, and you also have many tools that you can add. Like for example, deep sea, chat GPT, Gemini, you can open camera, open voice, etc. And to add the command or the tool, just simply tap on the plus icon next to it and done. And you should here see it in the favorites on the home screen. Now, if you ask me, I do use Raycast on my MacBook. If you own a Mac, I do highly recommend that you install and use Raycast, which is basically the spotlight tool on steroids. And with the mobile app launched here, it adds another layer of productivity to your iPhone user experience.